Hey, ke hey, ke hey, ke hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to use the contact node in Wadudo so that way you can do things like, let's say for example, I want to make it where when I uh, put my hands together, a little particle will spawn from my hands. Like I usually have on my streams, I'll show you how to do that. Simply go over here to the bottom right and let's go ahead and you know, make sure you're in blueprints tab and add a blueprint. We're going to rename this blueprint to a contact example, right? And then let's go ahead and collapse this sidebar so we have some space. What we're going to do is we're going to type, on, uh, type in the top right on contact here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in spawn particle. Now what we're going to do is that um, allow me to kind of go over some of these settings here. So uh, right here, visualize. This is so that way we can figure out uh, the little colliders because the thing with contact is that there are two colliders, a sender and a receiver. So uh, the sender is going to be pretty much that uh, collider that's going to be like going towards the receiver and receiving is going to be the one that kind of causes the action. So for example, um, if I were to have my hand, for example, uh, and I wanted to pick up a prop, my hand will be the sender uh, and then the, the little gun prop will be the receiver, for example. For our case, though, since we're having two hands and when the hands are together, um, it will spawn a particle. For this case, it doesn't really matter which one's the sender, which one's the receiver, but depending on your case, just remember, sending goes towards the receiver, causes the trigger. As long as they have contact with each other, that's how it works. So we're going to go ahead and add a contact sender, add an element, and as you can see, there is a red little rigid body right there. So let's go ahead and we're going to set this to be a specific scene asset and we're going to set this to be our character we're going to set the um, this one to be the right hand of my model so set this let's see let's find right hand right there like so um, of course you could use existing colliders such as um, you know box collider it's the, it's the default unity collider that exist this is mainly like again if you have to use like a mesh collider or something like that for a prop but again we're gonna you know have one that's generated for us and from here we can actually adjust so click and drag the little letters here uh, to our liking so again you know uh, just kind of experiment to see if you get to the right placement and you can of course even do a rotation offset as well for spheres you won't notice that um, however if you do set it to let's say box uh, which you can set to be box then um, let me see if this will work yeah there you go see uh, you can see it much more clearly with the box for rotation so you have that and you can even set it to a capsule where you have a little bit more control over like the height and stuff like that so you know a little bit more control um, but for this case we'll set this to be a sphere just to keep it simple let's go ahead and set that collider radius to be a bit small and then just fine-tune from there so let's say we have that and then what we're going to do is we're going to add another uh, contact receiver add an element here and we're going to set this again to a specific scene asset we're gonna set this to character and then this time we're gonna set this to be the other hand so let's set this to left hand instead uh, now for this case it might be a little tricky for me to might be a little tricky for me to edit this but bear with me just gonna have my hand like this and from here I will go ahead I'm gonna quickly reduce the scale adjust the settings here again bear with me just adjust it until it's like closest to my hand as much as possible again excuse the derpy hands all right you pretty much see what i'm doing 
just fine tuning the placement of the collider. Like, well, hold up, hold up, it's a little too far. There you go, not that. There you go, a little better. Or I could have just copied the value from the other one, but it's like, whatever. Um, but what we're going to do now is that once you have the two receiver things set up to your liking, what you'll then do is that now this kind of depends on how you want it to work. So on contact enter, when it enters for the first time, you can do a trigger. So for example, if you wanted to pick up a prop, um, I would recommend using on contact enter for something like that. For contact stay would mean that when the contacts are still interacting with itself, uh, you should be able to have it where it keeps repeating that action until the contacts are not connected anymore. And then on exit, meaning that the moment that the contacts are no longer interacting with each other, like the moment they, you know, after they have contact and then they exit, it does a certain action. So this could be like, let's say... Um, I pick up a prop and then when I exit the prop, um, a little explosion happens or something like that, you know? So again, um, I'll try and see if I could do like a bit more example cases for tutorials like this, but hopefully for the time being, this should kind of give you a bit of an insight on the contact node so you can get some basic knowledge, you know, some general knowledge on it. Let me also go ahead actually and just fix that freaking, fix that freaking, um, setup thing on the other hand. Cause it's like, it's really far. Try, nope, nope. That's too much. That's too much. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, little technical issues with the freaking thing not liking me so much. Okay. There, there you Come on, come on. Okay, okay, either way, as long as they're interacting in some way. Um, but pretty much what you're going to do is that you're going to, for the particle case, let's actually do contact stay and we're gonna set the source on preview. Let's say we want to have electricity or something like that. We can attach this to be on our character and set this to be on the uh, left hand for example and from here we could probably set the scale to be a little smaller and then if I were to again I have to freaking fix the darn uh, collider thing because it doesn't want to have the right placement for some reason there you go oh pff, little flash warning right there let me set that to 0 0.1 so there you go and now every time I do, every time the contact, oh my god, every time the contact is contacting uh, on stay, it will do this until I leave. See? Like that. Um, if I were to, again, do this where it's on enter, then it'll only do it once. Like, it won't repeatedly do it, it'll just do it one time so you could kind of do it like this see kind of like pretty much what i do on my stream uh where i have that particle that just happens like that and of course on exit uh again just demonstrating again contact like that see so hopefully that kind of demonstrates on the contact node a bit more and Otherwise, though, there's a lot more that you can do with this. Uh, again, you could do things like, again, picking up a prop. Or maybe you can actually do a weird thing where uh, you can have a character blend shape on your face. Well, you can kind of have it where, like, when your finger is poking at your face, you can have, like, a squish thing happening or something like that. Again, you could do a lot of crazy stuff if you want to. Um, but otherwise, though, I do hope that this helps you out on at least getting the general knowledge. Also, by the way, make sure that when you're done setting up these collider stuff, make sure to click on visualize no, so that way you don't have to see it again. And that way you can see the particle. Of course, 
Um, I believe the spell might actually show these colliders, I think. I think it might. Um, but just make sure to set that to know when you're done. And that should be it. I hope you have a lovely day. See you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.